While filming Scream 4 in Michigan, what was your favorite place to go, thing to do while being there? Not while I was shooting Scream 4, but I actually dis rediscovered it when I was back in Ann Arbor this summer shooting the five-year engagement. So I spent two summers shooting in Ann Arbor. I've had real time to get to know the place. And uh, one of my favorite places to go was the Jolly Pumpkin. Not to sound like too much of an alcoholic. There were also great hiking places and stuff like that. But the Jolly Pumpkin was just kind of like, had a fun name. They had good swag. I totally have a t-shirt that I wear all the time. They had good, good cocktails. Uh, and, and yummy food, so that gets my recommendation. Who would win in a fight, Annie or Trudy, and why? I've thought about this a lot, and I, I think I constantly go back and forth and, and change answers. Like, my first instinct was Annie, because she's so crazy, and she had a pill addiction, and, and she has, like, crazy tantrums, she, she yells really loud, I feel like she could get super feisty, but in the end, upon further thought, I've decided that Trudy would really win because she's kind of like more conniving and Annie like loses her cool too easily. She's a little immature. She, you know, Trudy probably has a few fights under her belt. Tr Trudy would have already won going into the fight and Annie wouldn't even know about it yet. Like she's got goons on the inside. What was your favorite wardrobe piece from Mad Men? Ooh, um, gosh, one piece that I really loved was, well, there were two from from last season, from season four, I think. One was a blue dress that I wore when Pete and Trudy decided not to go to Roger Sterling's wedding, or his daughter's wedding. We decided not to go to his daughter's wedding, and we stayed home, And but we were like curled up on the couch in our wedding attire in this like amazing blue dress, and it just fit like a glove. It was beautiful, I wanted to steal it. And I don't even need to talk about another outfit, because that one just blew me away now. I'm just too I'm involved. Dreaming about it now and fantasizing about it right now. Does Donald Glover or Childish Gambino ever spit hot fire on set? Oh my gosh, yes. Well, I mean, I have to say, I probably rap more on set than Donald does, but it's not as good by by a lot. People like to make fun of me because I because I spit mad rhymes constantly on set, and by mad rhymes I mean like really bad monotone rhymes, uh, but Donald, Donald, Donald actually has never really, he might kind of workshop his stuff, so you'll hear him kind of singing his stuff to himself, and then the, the big treat is that he'll play his music for us kind of before it comes out, and as he's working on it, and, and it's really cool to listen to it in advance, Donald's music. It's so good, I'm a big Childish Gambino fan. If Community and Mad Men were combined in one episode, what would happen? Ooh, um, well we already did a little bit of a crossover in our in our first season of Community, Abed kind of took on the Don Draper role for one scene, and Annie was kind of head over heels. I think if if the two shows were combined in a mega episode, the universe would explode. So we better not try that. We all love Annie's boobs. If you adopted a monkey, would you name it after someone else's body parts? If I adopted a monkey, no. I would definitely, I would probably just name it Allison's boobs so that I could feel even more, like, I have such a kinship with my own boobs, so I feel like, you know, I, it would be great because I could just, I could, I could like experience my own boobs and then, and then like be experiencing them outside my body as well, and it would just be like constant boob time for me and my own boobs. I think, I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to get a monkey now and just and, and name it Allie's boobs. Thanks, thanks for the idea. Thank you.